boys and girls, how are we all doing today? Oh, well today we're going to be looking at how these everyday objects can make art. Well, let's go discover what we can find inside. So first of all, here is what you'll need. You'll need some paper and a potato. So here's our potato here. And we can get a potato cut into many different shapes, but you might need a big person to help you. Here's what my big person did for me. I have got a star and I have got a smiley face. Look how cool they both are. So all my big person had to do was cut out to the lines to be able to make this and then we can start stamping these on but <gasps> I forgot we're going to need paints of course well which colour paint shall I use today I think I'll start off by using red which is a primary colour which you'll be able to learn all about in my video about colours okay so we have got our smiley face and we have got our star and here we have got our little thing where I can put all of the paints on. So let's start with the red. Ooh, printing is an art style where you transfer one thing onto another. So all we have to do is, let's do this like so. And you might need to wipe it off a bit if you get too much on, because as you can see there, my little eye isn't working. So you just gotta wipe it off like so. It was too much paint and we can start to print. Hopefully this will work. You ready? And press it down. Let's reveal what it is. We have got a smiley face. Whoa! And here is our star. So if we just put that in to the paint, just like so. There we go. Are we ready? Whoa, look at my star. So make sure you take off all of the excess paint first and press down really hard. <gasps> wow. So we can make many different shapes out of our potato, but I do think the star is my favorite. We'll use a different color. Let's use another primary color. Blue, and then we'll put some yellow. Okay, so we'll put our blue in here just like so and take off the excess just like so and we'll put it on just here <gasps> whoa okay so if I remove the excess from the bottom there it will help might get a bit messy that's okay because we can clean up at the end <gasps> Wow! You can do it lots and lots of times, just like so. Okay, so that's our first picture complete. We'll leave that one just there. And let's make more with the smiley face. So take out the excess from the eye and wipe it off. Are we ready? Just like so. Oh, yeah, lots of paint. So we have used our potato so far, but we can also use other things such as this sponge. Well, we use this sponge to clean my finger first of all, because that is one of the uses of the sponge but we can also use some scissors. But make sure we get the big people to help us to cut out some shapes. So I know what shape I'm gonna do first and foremost. 
if you go up here, just like so. So the sponge has got a different texture to a potato. It's really bouncy, whereas our potato is quite hard and not as bouncy. Oh, this doesn't look as good on this side. Wait a second, let's just give it a bit of a haircut. There, we have got a love heart. So what we'll do is we will use some of the red and move all my sponge stuff out of the way. Oh, I need more red, I think. Because of course, the sponge does absorb some of the paints. So printing is a technique that's been used for over 100 years! Right, let's get some hearts. Oh wow, and look at all of the little effects within the heart. Just like so. So printing was also used to help create newspapers and books back in the day. They used to have to get blocks of wood and take out each individual letter and print them on all individually. They didn't have any big printers, they had to do it all by hand. So each letter would be placed in a line to make the words and they'd print each thing individually. Okay, I think the sponge is doing a lot better job than the potato was. We can also do it with a rectangle. And I can use lots of different colours. Are we ready? Print! Whoa! Look at all those colours! I have got an idea. So, let's take that off. Just like so. And let's use this one. We'll use a new sponge too. I'm going to put a line. Oh. Whoopsie daisy. Here, just like so. Hmm, more paint, I think. Okay, and then I need green. What do you think I'm making? Oh well. So what is green, orange and red? Hmm. Here we go. It's a traffic light! Or it could even be a traffic light ice lolly. Oh, wait a second. Ice lolly <laughs> with a lollipop stick. Yay, and all I need to do is, where's the green? Oh, I dropped it on the floor. There you go, I've made a traffic light ice lolly. Ooh, I wonder what will happen if I print with the lollipop stick. Ooh, it creates different textures again. Wow. Oh, I have had so much fun looking at all of these printing styles with you all. But it is now time for me to go. So we've made this one, and I think my favorite one of all was the ice lolly. Well, I've had so much fun doing all these printings with you all. But I think I need some artwork on my walls. You all at home, do you think you could do some printing and then send them to me? Please, please do. 
anyway, it is now a big, big goodbye from me, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching! If you want to win prizes like this, please make sure you check out all of our social medias for our giveaways, and make sure you tune in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for brand new 